Mass Effect Lone Wolf. I exult here and I'm back with a new gold solo video. This time I chose to take the weak point mission and I chose the Batarian Scrapper. This is how I spec him. I spec points in combat fitness, health and shields as well as aerial evasion to have more damage resistance and snap freeze I could put only uh, 6 points in this so up to rank 3 but I would have taken reach brittle and probably I would have specced it up to rank 6 everything is based around combat fitness to be honest well, you also see throughout the video that I actually use concussive shot not only to detonate combos but also to confuse enemies and stagger them. So that's why in fact the only power relying on on recharge speed would be snap freeze. So I just calculated the time I needed. I added extra shields as a consumable. And this is again a shotgun base build, just like in my Platinum Guide video, I used the same character. Because the mission of the day was uh, all about weak points, that makes the mission somewhat easy, so I decided to include new challenges, like having a perfect solo. Which means that basically I didn't use any consumable at all. Well, I was lucky with the objectives, to be honest. I wouldn't be honest if I told you otherwise. But, in fact, this character is really, really strong. That's not only because there was the weak points challenge. As you can see, I can't even shoot heads in the first wave. Well, it gets better with, uh, with time, don't worry. Well, I didn't... I think I could, you know, um, I could uh, have this perfect solo. Uh, it was just um, after I realized that uh, I could. So when I began, and it was just, uh, it was just about surviving. That's why I, um, you know, I'm sort of cautious. The first wave is made of three rays. So Snap Freeze is very useful to paralyze them and be sure that they don't, well, jump at you at the very last moment. And the rest of the wave is made of enemies who, like Wraiths, only have health. So it's not really difficult to kill them to be exact. And whenever I find myself in a difficult position, I use Flat Cannon to stun the enemy a little. I like this power so much, so yeah, I expect some points in it. But, well, I was thinking about combat fitness. Usually I like to spec it up to rank 6 because of the uh, low health damage resistance bonus to 100. So giving that 100 divides the damage you you get by by half, I guess that 200 damage resistant means that every other shot is almost cancelled as far as uh, damage resistance is concerned. And you can clearly see that uh, when you have low health. So that's very really useful, but I couldn't use it because I wanted to have a balanced build with some recharge speed for snap freeze and also with repeated concussion on rank 4 with concussive shot. The second wave is basically like the first one except this time you have three new enemies on the field with shields. Uh, these are two distant and one and only did but the second wave uh, in this regard is not that difficult uh, at all compared to gold as it was in I don't know in Mass Effect 3 for instance. That's how it is, and well, um, Mass Effect Andromeda with the cat brought new difficulties of its own. Gold, the first waves are okay in comparison with uh, Mass Effect 3. As early as uh, wave 2, Mass Effect 3, that can be really troublesome. That depends on the faction you get, of course, but still. 
So yeah, I'm talking about Mass Effect 3 because uh, I'm playing with the Batarian and the Batarian is uh, the main character you find find in the original trilogy. It's a shame that they did not include uh, Batarians in the main uh, story of Mass Effect Andromeda, but well, that game was a little bit lazy in fact, but still, they had development problems, we know that. Anyway, so... This solo, there's in, mm, not much to say. In fact, oh, well, probably Vakanin is very is um, very effective against Destins, uh, regardless of the smoke. That's why it's very useful. And also, you see, I use a receiver on my shotgun to be sure that whenever the enemy is hiding, I can still deal some damage. You could even shoot the head through uh, the walls and that should be okay. The first objective I got was target, obviously. And well, I didn't know what the targets were going to be because this was a, uh, this was not a custom mission. This was a uh, uh, daily mission, so it's difficult to say which uh, target uh, you are going to confront. But um, that can't actually be uh, enemies like the fiend, or uh, it's impossible. Depending on the target you get, uh, that will add a new enemy on the, on the field. So if it's say anointed you have to to be aware of this because that would make i think three anointed but i'm not sure but, uh, but i think that there are there are two anointed uh, in this wave well there is one ascendant i i'm not dealing with it as of now simply because um if i kill it the ascendant it will not respawn that's the the only objectives when I kill the Ascendant first would be hacking objectives and or upload objective on the third wave. As I just told you, the Ascendant will not respawn if you kill it on gold. I was also happy to post this gold solo because I didn't post much about this map, Magma. And it is well, a nice map, I have my, uh, my, my killing zones. And I also follow a specific route whenever I try to solo uh, on this map. On Platinum, this map I think is also very friendly, but again, depending on the objectives you have, depending on where the objectives spawn, and even devices, devices can, can, can really uh, can be really frustrating. Nice job, Apex. Keep it going. So yeah, the Ascendant died very, very, very quickly because of uh, this wonderful bonus on weak points. But that's also because I'm using a very strong weapon, and that's another reason why I think a uh, shotgun should be privileged over any other gun. Well, I'm not going to talk about it again, because that will be somewhat repetitive, but still... Uh, I, I was attempting, and I'm going to post it in, in the next tweets, a, um, a Platinum Duo with uh, my usual Juggernaut friends. Well, I should say Juggernaut poor friend. Anyway, we were playing the same character. In fact, I was playing the Juggernaut with the shotgun, and he was playing the Juggernaut with a um, with the uh, as I told you assault rifle build. Well, he also had a, a shotgun, the scatter shot, but still, we were playing together, and everything was well doing fine. And at some point, one of my friends, uh, I don't blame you, but still. <laughs> You didn't know, you couldn't know, he joined, and, well, 
it might have thought that seeing two juggernauts playing on on the map could have been a clue, you know. Uh, it could have taken a juggernaut and I would have, you know, posted a platinum trio with two juggernauts and we would have discussed the build anyway. But no, he took a an infiltrator, so uh, that that simply ruined the duo because he's, he's ticked and he, well, he's a very good player, so. Uh, I don't, don't have much to say, it was nice playing with him, but well, what I wanted to say in the first place was that during this duo, which is not a duo anymore, but still, I uh, used the same weapons, the Crusader and the Piranha, and this was weak points against uh, the Outlaws, uh, I guess, so I was just getting things so fast, uh, I was impressed, that's why I saved the video, because I need to share this. I need people to understand that the Paw is not the best weapon in this game. Uh, it has become so, so overused that it makes me, you know, it makes me crazy on the field to hear that uh, sample all the time, you know. Um, anyway, but if people feel confident with it, I can understand this, you know, it's a constant continuing shot, so that's like the particle rifle in Mass Effect 3, but in Mass Effect 3 the particle rifle was not the best weapon, and neither is the paw in Andromeda. With the Crusader and the weak point bonus, you can deal amazing damage like killing Berserkers in one shot, and I will prove this to you in the Platinum Duo, which is not a duo video. I think that will be the title actually, but still. I didn't really have much time to try um, to try soloing Platinum again. Uh, well, I, I do actually, but still, I, I'm still the lucky guy with the Wave 6 uh, upload. <laughs> that happened even yesterday, so that's why I'm not working on platinum solos. I think people have already done that and better than I did. Better than I did. The only thing they didn't do was to command their solos, but that's uh, that's up to them. So instead, well, I'm, I'll be posting uh, the Let's Play Mass Effect 3 100% uh, playthrough, four videos a month, I guess. I hope. Also, I will be posting uh, Gold Solos, uh, Platinum Duos. I, th I hope I'll be uh, posting other videos like Fun with Bronze videos. Why not? It's fun. And depending on what I do with this game, uh, I'll be posting content in the next few weeks. But still, I'm, I'm not dropping this game until Anthem and even after Anthem, I think, to be honest. So why not? I still have to max up some of my weapons. I don't have them all still. I have 2000 hours on this game and still. <laughs> Listen to that, by the way. They really have to think about how to, they reward their player. I mean, the more you do and the more you have to do, it's impressive. Oh, that's, that was the two destined bug. So I can't remember what was my feeling when I started, but when I started, I mean, things were very, very different. There weren't any siphon or bulwark weapons. Even weapon positions were different. They sort of reworked that. I think it's uh, a bit easier than it was in the first place. Uh, even platinum, in fact, platinum. The only thing difficult with platinum is the objective. And that's why you can't really try to solo Platinum, because you know that the moment you see Upload or Hark, it's a failure, especially on Wave 6. Until somebody finds the Panacea, which I think does not exist, there are, there are tweaks that you can do. Um, but, well, it's all about chance. And that's, that's really a shame, I mean, um, that was interesting to develop a game, a multiplayer game, as they did in Mass Effect 3, but why didn't Bioware realize that if at the time people were attempting Platinum Solo, that was for a reason. And punishing them was not, in my opinion, the right answer they should have done. Like, no, we want that to be a multiplayer game, so that will be a multiplayer game. I mean, they, they have Anthem for that, don't they? That was part of the nice thing, you know, that was the action part of Mass Effect we all like, you know, Mass Effect is not only about the story, the story, of course, is a huge part of Mass Effect, but that's not the only thing. The balance between action 
and uh, adventure is really important in my opinion and the action is is nice i mean this is what i liked when i played game uh like i don't know diablo 2 i spent like hours on this game too it came out when i was uh um i think a teenager or something like this so yeah <laughs> And Diablo 2 was all about killing, but you still had a story, you know, the story was not a pretext. And now, even the DLC has become part of the game, you know, the Lord of Destruction. And that's what I like with Mass Effect and Romeda, kicking asses of different enemy types with different specificities, characteristics, so you have to adapt your gameplay to uh, what you have to confront. I, I don't know, that's what I like with... Uh, action game like this, so yeah, I know people probably expected the multiplayer to be something like going on plans together, doing missions together, but no, I think the multiplayer is as good as it is. The Ascendant with the weak point bonuses is very easy to kill, I mean, the, uh, the, the orb is a weak point wherever you shoot. It's more difficult to kill the fiends if you're not in the right position to do so because of the weak points it has, but whenever it's opening its mouth and sort of, uh, I don't know, it's not streaming though, it just stops and opens its mouth like it's digesting something, that's the perfect moment to shoot it, uh, because the mouth is a, a weak point as well. Well, I wasn't quite happy to to have devices here, really. Um, first for the challenge, I, I don't like having devices in Wave 6 because it's easy to lose, actually. Uh, it's not because it's devices that you're going to win. But it, it only depends on where the uh, device will spawn. If it spawns where I am right now, then it's going to be a bit difficult. But obviously that was inside the building and I was lucky. So you see 20 seconds left and my second device is okay. As long as I can keep the fiend away and the ascendant as well, uh, the wraith and the um, anointed as well as the destined, they all can melee you out of the device. I don't know if I can say that in English, but um, they can use melee and that will cause you to stop uh, disabling the device. Oh, that fourth device, I hated it. I don't know why did it spawn so close. But I was lucky, so yeah, I did my job. Three stars, okay, let's go. Had I had another objective, I hacked or probed, I would have focus fire on both the Ascendant and the Fiend. I would probably have to use Cobra RPGs if time was running out. And if you kill the Ascendant and the Fiend, both will respawn. I'm sure of this now. So yeah, basically uh, focus fire on them. Well, what am I doing? Why? You can't use snap freeze against shielded enemies. That was probably a mistake, I guess. All my powers are very close to one another. In fact, uh, X, C, and V are next to one another on my keyboard. And, um, well, next to X, there's also the uh, W key. And that's the key I'm using to reload my weapon. That's the key I keep spamming all the time. Because, I don't know, sometimes this key does, it's like the Cobra RPG key, A. It's impressive, sometimes it just doesn't work. You, you spam it, and I'm not. For extraction it could be, uh, for a perfect solo I mean, uh, 
Kirby had to find a strategy on the double. We're done here. Get yourself to the LZ. So about extractions, yeah, to be really, really careful with extraction because I don't want to, you know, get killed. Uh, there are two ascendants, let me remind you that, on the field. So two ascendants are enough to kill you. Two ascendants are enough to kill you. If they shoot at the same time, they all attack at the same time. And you won't even realize that. I didn't really think about it because I told you I didn't start with the idea of Oh, look at this. You can't even jump over the ledge. Are you kidding me? Anyway, so yeah, and I can't even shoot my flight cannon really. <laughs> but no, as you can see, flight cannon is really useful to stagger the enemy like anointed uh, whenever they are coming to you or about to shoot. That's the perfect moment. So again, running, but again, I'm kiting the enemy around the map, but uh, I'm kiting the enemy, but this time the route was uh, shorter, because I only had 20 seconds left, and now there are 10 seconds left, but um, I'm waiting for the very last seconds. And that was the perfect old solo with a level 10 Batarian soldier scrapper. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please hit the like button and or subscribe to my channels if you're interested in having more Mass Effect content in the future. And I absolutely will post new Mass Effect content in the future. Thank you again, have a great day and see you in the next video. I exult out.